This is Utah Public Radio, and it's time for our weekly movie review with Casey T. Allen. Hi, Casey. Hello, Shalane. And the big summer blockbuster flicks continue. This week brings us another Mission Impossible film. Did you like this new installment, Fallout, or are these getting old for you? This volcanic eruption of action, intensity, and hypermasculinity is the sixth Mission Impossible film with Tom Cruise. The previous one being Mission Impossible Rogue Nation from 2015. I don't think I need to explain anything about the plot here, since it's basically the same contents of a Mission Impossible movie, but mixed up in a different arrangement. There's a team of good guys, spies with mysterious identities, government offices, and a bunch of plutonium ready to blow up the earth. I know it might sound like I'm rolling my eyes at this whole film the way I'm describing it, but it's actually well orchestrated overall and has very good pacing. The film isn't all about the fighting and cheating death, but those parts of the film are what stand out from a three-way fist fight in a pristine white public bathroom to a tightly edited motorcycle chase through the streets of Paris. Now, while the action scenes are incredibly sophisticated, the writing is disappointingly corny forced and superficial. No matter how hard the actors try, they cannot save this screenplay from simply being a simple string of cliches. Tom Cruise is 56 now, so maybe it's time for him to retire from this franchise. A mild recommendation? Mild. I mean, the action stuff was super fun, but don't go and expect anything else. Okay, thank you, Casey. What's coming out this weekend? Oh, we have The Spy Who Dumped Me and Christopher Robin. Oh, I want to see both of those. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> what you, you don't realize is that in the back of the, the mortis falcon, I have a good 